as long oh whoops i should have left this lobby <laughs> looks like i'm going to be watching pugsy and naj play for about seven seconds three everyone played no i think we're just going to watch this match this is the next match in the rat in the bracket so go ahead and start casting i'll update this and then we'll watch to breen versus camp for afterwards oh all right <laughs> i didn't know that they were playing a tournament match well it looks like we have two animal skinned players right now Bear and Pugsy. We have Cat versus Bear. It's an interesting matchup. With a down throw and a neutral combo coming out of Naj, Pugsy's already in orange health. And with a sword, Naj can put a lot of pressure onto a Suri here and knock her off the map if he's quick enough. But it seems like the Tars are going to rack up Naj into orange health. Pugsy getting hit with that down air. Interrupting the side sig. It... I don't know what's going on here. Naj just went from absolutely dominating and getting Pugsy into dark health to getting put into red health himself. Yeah, Bodfire just finding the sword, being able to, to bring uh, the damage around, and both players are finding themselves in red. Uh, Pugsy still being denied of all weapons. Bodvar holding on the sword, hits him with a sidelight to send him off the stage, continues to deny him, has the hammer, and is trying to scoop him off the top. Oh. Not enough range with that side sig. Maybe a down sig would have been a better bet there, but yeah. Bodvar sigs are very readable. Pugsy yeah, is able I... to stay alive. Bodvar, uh, wait, well, I mean, honestly, it was a really great pu uh, patience from Pugsy. I feel like NHL was expecting Pugsy to approach when he did that side sig and just stood on the platform until something was thrown out. But still, NHL takes the first stock. And, Pugsy, and it seems like both people are going to be able to get a knockout using or taking advantage of that great downlight to side air combo. Yeah. Pugsy getting the knockout on NOH right there. Celebrating a little bit with some attacks from the guitars, and as soon as NOH picks up a weapon, gets some good damage on, and again trying to get the combo with the down air to side light. Not quite getting them. Not quite getting them. I'm trying to figure out whether his name is Hojin or Nojin. What do you think? I was gonna say Naj because Naj? I don't want to mispronounce something, so I'm just gonna compromise on pronouncing. I'm pronouncing like part of it. Okay, okay, we'll call. Him, I'm gonna call him Nojin just for the heck of it. Nojin. We'll we'll see. We'll get yelled at by the chat. I'm sure Twitch chat will be able to tell us. I think they'll forgive us. All right, Pugsy going with the guitars. Both players find themselves in the red very close. There's the signature, however, to send Bodvar off the side of the stage. It's like his jumps, but he barely clips the side of Mammoth Fortress. If this was shipwreck, he wouldn't be making it back. And Pugsy, oh, Pugsy, Ooh. just getting back. Both players. Just you know, fighting. Pugsy had an really opportunity to hit a downlight over there to win the to win the stock, but Nan is just just barely out of range. Yeah, both players being very cautious when they're off stage. When you're this damaged and this far into the red, really any move off stage is gonna be able to end your stock. There's a down air to be able to send Noj into the sky, a side light into side air to be able to end the stock. But Pugsy is finding himself in the same position as last stock and Noj uh end this quickly and even up to one to one. This match has been neck and neck. Nojin in white health. Pugsy being able to tip. Wow! What a combo, what a string there. Going into the air and punishing him more with side lights. Chasing with the side sig. Unable to hit, but definitely getting some map pressure there. And then Nojin going a little a little too hard with those side sigs and getting easily punished by a hammer cider, but still racked up a decent amount of damage. It's cool to see an Asuri side signature like that with the swords. I rarely see that ever used correctly. Mm hmm. It, it was impressive. I think Pugsy knew that he l had a little bit of uh, space to work with having the extra shock, being in low damage anyway. It was just going, you know, really, honestly, balls to the wall. Doing as much damage as possible, being as reckless as, po as possible, because he could. With the side air, after coming up to the edge, hits Nojin. Apologize for that. But all right. Bodvar going in with the side air. Ooh, catches Pugsy's approach with a neutral light, with a sword, and disarms him, and then huh. an up air. Kills Pugsy at the top. Game one goes to Nojin. Pugsy maybe being a little bit too aggressive on the tail end of his second stock there, racking up a lot of damage, but with Asuri's low defense, Nojin was able to rack up a lot of damage on that last stock and knock him out, even yeah. though he was starting in orange health. Ooh, and Pugsy making the decision to change to Koji. We're going to see Bo sword from him now. Very cool, very cool. This will be the first uh, tournament match Koji that I've ever casted or seen. Three. Have you played King's with Koji Pass. At all? I have played with Koji. I'm familiar with the signatures. Love that down sig with the bow. Neutral sig with mm. the bow is also quite fun. Uh, Supplies. Nojin starting off with a bomb, hitting Pugsy through the permeable platform. Yeah. And Immediately getting into the ground pound zone. Both oh, weapons shit. here are very powerful. 
to get someone into the shenanigan zone and to put them out of the shenanigan yeah. zone. The bow and the hammer, great for Gimps there. I feel like Bodvar has a slight advantage in the sense that he's got the hammer, so it's got a little bit more width when it comes to throwing the weapon down to punish them recovering. But either way, both players can have a lot of fun in that uh, little part of the map. Wow. Notion, stringing together a couple of downlights, puts Pugsy through the bottom of the map, unable to recover. And an absolutely dominating stock. Unlike the last game where both players were neck and neck in the red, Notion finds himself barely damaged. Pugsy's struggling to get anything with his Koji. But, but then with Unarmed, it seems like Pugsy might be able to get Notion immediately what down off the that? bottom of the map. The shenanigan zone is unforgiving. The ground pound sure. into the down air follow-up with an immediate ground pound to boot. That was an excellent string from Pugsy. Making sure that Notion wasted all of his jumps and killed him off the bottom. He didn't even take any damage. That was very impressive. And again with a sword combo, getting Notion towards the side of the map, getting another downlight side air. Notion almost out of jumps. Already in the orange, Pugsy absolutely taking this away with another downlight side air. Trying to punch him with a side air in the Wow. Moments gets Notion into red health. Notion has yet to do any damage to Pugsy. What went from being an absolutely dominating performance from this bot bar has gone to Pugsy just tossing him around with his Koji. Goes for a uh, gravy cancel D light to maybe get a follow up. Notion finally finds a hammer, gets an excellent string, but to what cost? He's in the red. Pugsy able to spot dodge that signature and goes over to punish and knock out Notion, taking only two or three hits the entire stock. Wow. He's only in yellow health and will quickly be able to put Notion in that same position on his last stock, while Pugsy again is comfortably in the lead on his second. Yeah, Pugsy holding onto the swords goes for another neutral light to be able to punish uh, uh, Notion, but he ends up uh, dealing with an excellent down save to punish Pugsy's jumps. I don't think he needs back, but he does. Holds he has on to the recovery. recovery with the sword, which does a phenomenal vertical play for him. Pugsy in red health. Notion might be able to even this up if he does enough damage here, especially in the shenanigans pit with Bodvar's sigs that come out quickly with the sword. I'm surprised he didn't go for another down sig there. Excellent mix up of signatures there, however. I feel like Pugsy was expecting another down sig. That's why that side sig hit. And Notion with the down airs is able to put Pugsy off the map. Ooh. It seems like Pugsy was expecting it, but the tenacity of Notion doing multiple down airs puts yeah. Pugsy away. If this were an older version of King's Pass, Pugsy would have been able to recover. But with those ledges cut off, he finds himself falling to the bottom of the map. And stocks are even up 1-1, to one, and now the match is a lot closer than it looked like. Both players are just taking massive advantage of, of their momentum and carrying it into 1-2 to two to multiple stocks. But now... Right, it seems like Pugsy is trying to bait Notion into the shenanigans pit. Oof. And what's really more scary than the ground pounds, which does put Notion off, is the side airs, which stun you. Setting yeah. up perfectly for that ground pound. Which is exactly, exactly. what happened. Uh, Pugsy wow. ends up finding that side air, gets the ground pound follow-up, sends Notion off the bottom of the map, and game two goes to Pugsy. So that means that we're going on to game three. Notion did win the first one, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, for a second I, I blanked on who won the first round between the two of them. Yeah, Bugsy ends up banning up Blackguard and Hall. Nojin wants to go back to Mammoth. He wants nothing to do and with a lack match, of a center stage. The mirror match, two Bodvars, two fantastic skins on Mammoth. Three, two, one. If anybody wants to learn how to play Bodvar, uh, come back and watch this about a thousand times because you're going to learn a lot of things here. All right, we got Pugsy on this button bar, although they do look like two completely different legends, <laughs> considering mm. the skins that they're using. Pugsy Why is the first weapon? A couple of strings and combos, getting Notion before being touched into Orange Health. Almost seeing the down sig, Notion finally gets off a couple of unarmed attacks, but Pugsy immediately going back to the aggressive, oh, Notion. Notion up into red damage. Finally finds a weapon. Gosh, Bugsy was just carrying Nojin around on the stage with the sword, just like how Nojin's doing right now. Momentum being switched immediately, Bugsy finds that neutral air. Will he be able to find another one? Goes for the side sig. Nojin, excellent punish. Air dodges into a down air, but... Oh, and the sword finds the... him and knocks him off the map. What a terrific throw from Pugsy. Absolutely. Pugsy finds that side air to send Nojin off the map. Throws the weapon into him before he can even react to the dodge. Pugsy finding the sword again. Cool. Excellent grief cancel neutral sig to be able to cover a jump upwards. That would have dominated Nojin. Maybe if Nojin does the same thing here, tries to reverse, and he does not. Pugsy's out of jumps, and Nojin does not need to go in for a gravity cancel inward facing down sig. Oh, absolutely not. Pugsy finds the bomb. There's two bombs on the stage right now. Not very fun. Talk about bomb holla. Pugsy goes in for oh, another one. exciting. Oh, what? That connects it, and at the worst angle, Nojin was barely damaged, but that air dodge into a fully charged bomb is enough to destroy his bonfire stock. Pugsy has a solid one stock lead. Wow. Pugsy
Bugsy seemed to most always having two stocks oh. while his opponents freshly into his uh, last. Pugsy also doing a bunch of damage. Yeah. Excuse me, I, I paused when I sensed myself. Uh, no, she's just uh, completely getting destroyed with Bugsy right now. I think that bomb really did tilt him because uh, he just got right, killed with off the, the top layer. Layer. 